too small. We're actually at one of my favorite cafes in the West Village and we just had some lunch and after lunch we walked over to the cafe and some made just for a because I need cafe. It is not going as planned. We're supposed to shop and buy shoes, and the Soho location did not have a shoe. So now we have to head uptown to Fifth to try and find the shoes, which apparently they have in stock. They have one or two pairs, maybe, and we're going to try our luck and see whether I like it or not. But I'm enjoying this coffee. It was raining before, I think it stopped. The show outside is so pretty with the trees and everything. It's so pretty. One of my favorite cafes. I've never seen it this empty, but it is a weekday, so it's only just tourists. <laughs> but usually we come on a Saturday and you'd be lucky to get a seat. After yesterday's failure of shopping, it was raining, so I just wanted to leave so I could not be out on the street with no umbrella. It is a new day and we are back, but this time uptown on 5th Avenue, going to go to Saks and to be honest, Saks has never really let me down, so I got high hopes for Saks. Um, it is the day before Thanksgiving, so it's a pretty busy out. We'll see how that goes. Um, shopping is probably going to be hectic as well as the day after Thanksgiving, I would say, but let's go see what shoes they have for fall and the winter month. So cute, the Christian Dior carousel of dresses. I'm gonna try on these ones, which I found. They're chunky, and what I like is that the logo is black instead of gold, which is what I want, because I don't want that all in my face with the logo, so. Also at Celine, they have these, which I like. What do you think of these? I also really like these shoes. They're really high, but I just love the buckle with stockings and a skirt, like a velvet dress for the holidays. I think that would look really gorgeous, but this is not my size. Well, you know I'm a Louis Vuitton girl. I have so many Louis Vuittons, but these ones I love because they're not too high, whereas all my Louis Vuittons are quite high, so they're for going out. So really like these we've got other ones in painting as well this is the painting which is very cute as well these are cute too but really dainty love these Here are the Mil Mil. These I tried on yesterday, but I didn't love them. Thank you. After cashmere pants, Louisville has a pair. They feel really thick. But I really like this. So cute. I would wear that. With like a crisp white shirt, that would look so cute. So Christmassy, you gotta come see the Cartier building. This year they don't have the bow. I don't know what they have. They're like clouds and flags. at Saks like I 
presumed I was. Just shopping in New York, it's kind of the department stores are the best way to go because if you go to the particular store, they can be sold out. Um, it's just like a first, like a very fast turnover when you're shopping at the actual store. They'll have like new collections coming in. Um, so you have to be quick on that, but I feel like Saks stocks exactly what I'm looking for. I always get lucky there just because I think the buyers are good at purchasing the it item and then stocking that either in the shoe department or in the clothing or handbag department. I think that they're quite good at that. But anyway, so I got lucky at St. At Saint Laurent, yes, at Saks, but initially I did go shopping, you would have seen. I went to Soho to, I went straight to Mill Mill because I knew what I wanted. I wanted loafers and I wanted the collaboration with Mill Mill and Churches, which Churches, if you don't know, is a British Oxford shoe brand. Very famous, that they've been out for years. Um, and basically every shoe I would say that is a loafer is inspired by Churches. So I was very excited when they first came out with the collaboration and I had to go try it on. And I wanted the pair with the laces and there is also a pair with the buckle, but I was more so interested in the pair with the laces. And the Soho location only had the brown pair, which was not what I was after, but I just wanted to try it on for size. But after I tried it on, I mean, they didn't have my size. It was a size seven and I'm for reference, I'm seven and a half. Um, but after I tried it on, it just kind of felt really chunky at the foot area and it felt kind of like a costume shoe rather than an everyday shoe that I could wear casually in New York. So I passed on them. We continued the next day, went to Saks because I had no luck. And then I went to Chanel and tried on a pair of loafers, which I loved. I'll also insert a little photo with what I liked about them it wasn't in your face it just had the logo at the back but anyway let's get into it so like I said Saks shoe department and they are this is probably it's been a while ASMR <laughs> no they're from Saint Laurent don't mind my French I don't speak French so don't mind that but here we go. They are the pair of loafers and they're this chunky pair, which I absolutely love. They look so beautiful on the foot. They are a calf leather, very classic, chunky, and just the right shoe has the YSL logo. I don't know if you're gonna see that. Let's try and focus it kind of see that it's in black um like a black sort of hardware you can also get that in gold but i particularly did not want that in gold so just fyi if you are interested but they are so comfortable like so comfortable they have a chunky little heel the bottom isn't flat the bottom has a grip not exactly sure what the term is for that but it has a grip so it's great for walking and that extra support the ones i tried on at chanel loved them but they didn't have that grip it was just completely flat which i knew how beautiful they were i just knew they weren't going to be comfortable and fit my lifestyle but these are just so cute cannot wait to style them and put some outfits together which we can do right after this this was also true to size which is great so i got a 37 well usually i'm a 37 and a half and i got a 37 so they are true to size and then on the back they just have like embossed like saint laurent so yeah these are my purchases from Saks, and i'm so happy to add these to my collection they are definitely a classic and i'm going to get a lot of wear out of them let's style them together right now actually hopefully this view is Okay, I've never filmed back here by my wardrobe, but hopefully it's good. But let's style these um, shoes. I just put on some jeans to see how I could wear it potentially with jeans. I think that's a way that I would most likely wear it. And also wanted to share that as soon as I bought the shoes, I stopped at Muji. I love Muji. If you haven't been to Muji, you should definitely go there. They have... Their nets are great, um, great pajamas, stationery. They have so many great cashmere pieces as well. But as well as socks, I love to pick up my socks from Muji. They have the softest socks. This one I picked up, it's just a tapered sock in kind of like a white beigey color. 
and they're not completely short, they're a little longer. And I also picked it up in black, but I'm wearing it because they are so comfortable and cozy. They're not too thick, not too thin, they're just the perfect sock. So I wanted to share that with you as well if you were interested in socks. But anyway, so let's try it on and see how it looks with jeans, just more like a casual look. I think I would wear this little Fendi just to keep it with the full look and just very like feminine and casual, but hopefully you can see the full outfit. This is how I wear it with the jeans, roll it up and the socks showing very preppy, very cute and put together. I love how comfortable they feel. If I was to style them with a skirt, this is the, definitely how I would style them with the white socks. I think it just looks so cute and preppy. Really cute if I was to wear a handbag. I could wear this little doodle one. Actually, it's too much print to keep with the preppiness and kind of match the shoes. But this is how I'd wear the shoes with, without, with bare legs. Obviously with a skirt, very preppy, very cute. And with the white socks, I think that it complements it so well and they just look really cute. Last outfit, and this is probably how I would most likely wear it. Just like I just put on a knit dress and then stockings and the shoes. They feel really comfortable with the stockings. Luckily, I went down half a size, not my full size, just half a size. And they fit me well with the stockings and the socks. Again, I mentioned those socks aren't super thick, but I don't plan to wear super thick, chunky socks anyway. I just want to wear like plain cotton socks with them and for it not to be too tight but with the stockings that way it's versatile I can wear the thin stockings and I can wear the average cotton sock this is another way that you could wear it and I love this way this would probably be the most common way like I mentioned it's easy this knit dress is just from H&M actually I've had it for a few years and I always wear it and I'd probably style it with like a classic flap and yeah this is how i'd wear it again like with a skirt and a knit on top definitely stockings i'm a very much a stockings girl i think that's the melbourne in me um in winter would wear like a lot of stockings but these are too thick for the winter in new york but i need to get thicker ones but this is how i would wear it that pretty much concludes this video i hope you enjoyed this luxury shopping vlog in new york city and my unboxing of my new saint laurent shoes and how i plan to style it i think i'm going to wear this outfit out if not today definitely this week with a coat because it is getting cold in new york so I absolutely love them. Let me know if there was any item that I was shopping for that you would like to add into your wish list of shopping holidays. And let me know if you enjoy this kind of video because I definitely enjoyed filming it. And we didn't even go to Bergdorf Goodman. And that is a department store that I absolutely love. So maybe next time I could show you Bergdorf Goodman. Let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, make sure to subscribe. I'd love for you to join my little community on YouTube. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.